Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss infrastructure for search algorithms in artificial intelligence with the help of simple examples. Based on the search problem, we can classify the search algorithm in artificial intelligence into two categories. The first one is uninformed, also known as blind search algorithms. Second one is informed search or also known as heuristic search algorithms. To implement any of these search algorithms, either it may be uninformed or informed search techniques, a data structure is required to keep track of the search tree that is being constructed while finding a path from initial state to the goal state here. Now we will discuss uh, what are the different data structures required to implement the search algorithms. Let's assume that uh, we want to represent a node n uh, that can be done with the help of a structure which contains the four components. The first component is the n dot state that is nothing but the state in the state space to which the node corresponds. For example, you can see here this is the node. Uh, in uh, eight puzzle problem, uh, there are multiple number of states are there. At this particular point of time, this node is pointing to this particular state here. So this is the first component of uh, the node here. The second component is uh, n dot parent. N dot parent is nothing but uh, the parent of this node from which the node is generated. For example, let's assume that this is a parent. For this particular parent, we have applied some action and we have generated this node here. So to this node, this will become the parent. So that is what the meaning of uh, n dot parent here. The next one is n dot action. This parent, we have applied some action so that we have generated the current node. So that action is nothing but what n dot action in this case. The last uh, component of uh, this data structure is uh, n dot uh, path cost. The n dot path cost is the cost of this particular node starting from the initial state here. So to generate this particular node, we have used this parent. While generating this parent, we must have already calculated the path cost. So let's assume that the path cost till here is 5. To calculate the path cost of this node, what we do is uh, we will consider the path cost of the parent that is 5 here plus the step cost. From here to here, the step cost is 1 in 8 fuzzle problem. So 5 plus 1 will become how much? 6 in this case. So this is how we calculate the path cost and this is the fourth component of a node in this case. Now uh, whenever we apply any search algorithm, uh, what we need to do is uh, when we are present at a particular node, let's assume that we are present at this node. What we need to do is we need to check whether it is a goal node or not. If it is a goal node, we need to stop here. If it is not a goal node, what we need to do is uh, we need to generate the child nodes by expanding uh, this node with the help of uh, different actions in this case. So what we do is uh, while implementing the search algorithm, we use a function called as a child node. What this child node does is it will take the complete problem, the parent and an action. With the help of uh, these three things, it will generate the child node in this case. So the pseudo code for child node looks something like this. This is the child node. It takes the complete problem, the parent and the action here. So with the help of these three inputs, it will generate a child node in this case. So what the child node contains? Again, child node contains the four components. So in this case, the child node method returns a node with the four components. The first component is the state. Second component is parent. Third component is action. And the fourth component is path cost. Now the question is how to calculate this state. That is nothing but the, the child node dot state. Currently we are present here. And we have selected an action and then once you apply that particular action, we will be able to get the child node in this case. So that is nothing but node dot state here. Now, who is the parent of this particular child? The parent of this particular child is this one. So node dot parent is equal to parent itself. What is node dot action? Node dot action is uh, for this parent, we have applied an action so that we can generate the child node. So that will be the action in this case. Now, what is the path cost? The path cost of child node is equal to path cost of parent that is still here. That is what I have written parent dot path cost and then the step cost here. So how to calculate the step cost? To this parent, we have applied an action. Once you apply the action, we are going to generate the child node. So this is the action what we have applied. So this step cost we need to add to the parent path cost so that we will be able to calculate the child's path cost in this case. So whenever we call child node with problem, parent and action, you will be able to generate the child node in this case. 
Now, whenever we apply uh, search algorithm, uh, we need to uh, store these nodes uh, somewhere. That is, uh, uh, when we use BFS algorithm, uh, we need to store these uh, nodes in uh, FIFO queue. Whenever we use uh, BFS algorithm, we need to store these nodes in uh, a LIFO queue. Whenever we use uh, uniform cost search algorithm or uh, A star search algorithm or greedy search algorithm, we need to store the nodes into priority queue here. So, the best uh, data structure to store the nodes is the queue. The queue can be FIFO queue, LIFO queue, or priority queue based on the different uh, algorithms in this case. Now, uh, whenever the nodes are present in queue, we need to have some methods so that we can uh, uh, check whether queue is empty. Uh, we can uh, pop an element from the queue as well as we can add some element into queue here. So, the first method uh, we have is something known as empty. It will take a queue as a parameter and then it will check whether queue is empty or not. If queue is empty, it will return you true. Otherwise, it will return you false in this particular case. The second method is uh, something known as uh, pop. Again, it will accept a queue as a parameter and it will remove the first element from the queue and it will be written to you. And the last method in this case is insert. What this insert method does is it will take element and queue as a parameter and element will be inserted into queue here. So that is what uh, the functionality of insert in this case. So, these are the methods uh, what we apply on the top of uh, the queue which is used to store the nodes in search algorithm. So, in this video, I have discussed what are the different infrastructures required to implement a search algorithm in artificial intelligence. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.